Alrighty, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Ace Combat series. Now, if you know my channel name, which is Roz Grease Revenge, you know what this game is. This is the Ace Combat game, which is the 17th Ace Combat game. But it's the 7th in the main title series. That sort of... Uh, that was on like big platforms, the PlayStation, the PlayStation 2, the Xbox 360, um, and the Xbox 360 and the PS4. They had... One, two, three on the PS1, four, five, zero on the PS2, and they had Ace Combat 6 only on the 360. Microsoft bribed them with a lot of money, and plus the Xbox 360 was launching in time. And then the PS4 and the PS3 had Ace Combat Assault Horizons, and so did the, the Xbox 360. And then this is the first next, well, this is the first one actually in over five years I believe four or five years which for them is not too surprising it takes them a while to make a new game especially with the launch of a new console system so but we have finally been re we actually they've actually been making this I think for over two decades now these combat series I think the first one launched in 1995 or something so they've been doing this for a long time and it shows they have this system patented down. Now they did have a hiccup with Ace Combat Assault Horizons, but we're not going to talk about that red-headed stepchild. Get out of here. But let's get started. Okay. There you go. Now the one thing I've always loved about Ace Combat games is just it's it just the amount of content that you'll get. Like you you pick up this game, you think, oh, it's just gonna be an arcadey fighting like Air Force game. No, they have multiplayer, they have deep campaigns, like, the, the story. Like, I will always say Ace Combat 5 story truly hits home with me. Not, not then the whole, what happens in the story, but just the fact that I remember the story, and I can tell you what happens in every single mission, and that game got me through so many difficult times. The fact that they even had medals, they even have, this is one of the, my favorite things, is the aces. These are... High skilled enemies that you have to defeat. Well, you don't have to defeat them, but you have to find them. But basically, Easter eggs. And then after that, you get cool skins. Mainly, the only reason to shoot them down is to add them to your collection and get cool skins. I. That's really the only reason to ever hunt these people down. But then they have tons and tons of aircraft. They have, like, this one. We have this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're all, I believe, only offered and special. Like the four, the FA four, the FA F four E was offered as DLC, and so was the F one hundred four. Those are only DLC. Now this is actually, a, this is actually a very beautiful thing so shiny. This has no weapons at all, nothing. They have made a um, weapons version. A military version that you can actually fly and play as. Oh, curious. Up there. Now this one doesn't have mid-air refueling capability, but it's still so pretty. And this one's been a classic. This was, this has been around since Ace Combat 4. You've been able to actually you've been able to find this for most Ace Combat games. And Ace Combat Assault Horizons it was offered as DLC, and then Ace Combat um, Six is actually never offered. You couldn't play this, so this has only been out of one game, I believe. So it's good to see its return. Of course, you got to pay for its return. And then we have the beautiful F-22 Raptor. How do I zoom? There we go. The beautiful F-22 Raptor. Oh, and you can also change. Um... Oh, you can zoom in on that. And there's a way to change the hangar. I do like this multi roll attack. There's only two attacks. But most roll do they have their fighters. <sighs> and the other thing Ace Combat is, is known for is making their own fighters. This is one that they've made up back for Ace Combat 4, and it is just. It is just so awesome the intakes they go down and then they go back up into the engines and just oh folds down so it's super sleek 
has a lot of influence from the YF-23 and the F-22. This is actually influenced by the F-22 Raptor. This is Russia's attempt at a stealth fighter, at a 5th or 6th gen fighter. These are actually cool. The rudders, uh, we'll, we'll show you all these though. Well, we're, I'm going to try to go through and um, play each one of these. Oh, I saw that. I finally saw the way to change the hangar. So you have the... That's that base. Just a fork for air base. Then you have 4-4. Four, four. This is actually not a bad hangar. For what it is. So we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Then you have... This was used a lot. Wait a minute. New Aero Air Base. This one's a boring one. I hate this air base. Yeah, but this one, this is basically like, uh, work. Like we're being crapped on. And then we have the Admiral Anderson. Oh, God. Now, th this is so many references to Ace Combat 5 that if you, like, some of this is going to go over your head. So I encourage you to go, actually, we will, uh, my channel will be doing a Ace Combat, we're going to go through Ace Combat 4, 5, 0, 6, and 7. And then maybe eventually we'll do Assault Horizon. But right now, this is what we're doing. We're doing 7, 6, and then I'm working on a way to get my PS2 to work. So we can record that content because retro gaming is in. And technically there's a retro. These are also pretty cool. Um, you can actually get these. These are unlocked through the campaign. I think there's a few. Oh, sorry. Didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, th this is no plan to retire. The, F the F4E has been retired for decades, but it's just such a loved aircraft. They keep bringing it back. And these are different types of weapons. Customization crazy. The gunman's a funny one. So. And yeah, this one is a reference. So yeah. Well, 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 let's get into the actual game. Because we are seven minutes into the video. And I haven't even played the game. Now the bad thing is. Um, I'd actually already recorded this once. But the audio didn't track because that is my life so I have to redo this all again over again now you can now uh, you can go and play the story or, or watch the story I kind of don't want to want to get copyright strike is everyone you here? don't um I'm gonna cut out a lot of fat because let's say so if you're here you kind of want to just see things blow up am I wrong and how much money do I have Okay, we want to probably save up to buy... Where is it? Where is it? Thai food. This is it. This is one of the... We only have, I think, one more aircraft. Two more aircraft we can buy. We just have this one. And... And the raffle, or roughly, I don't know how you say that. Yeah, that's the only aircraft left we have to get. Everything else has been purchased and is ready to go. What do I want to use? Could use this, not, not super long range. We'll probably go with the MiG. MiG-31, a fast, a large intercept with boost high speed of world class scale. It's boost long range air to air missile loaded with latest avionics as well as the ability to fly at high speeds in order to intercept cruise missiles. So it was built as an interceptor and it's got the punch to do it. Now the cool thing is that they changed is this. Is they've added parts in which are awesome. The fact that you can now customize your parts is probably one of the coolest things they've added in is you can you can change just the way the aircraft flies and it's one of the more amazing things now they do have levels but I don't know if the levels actually do anything so we'll figure that out I actually don't know and then of course 
This is a special skin. Oh yeah, I can change this, can I? Let's put on a Ruja. Now, in the in the first run through of the campaign, you can't change your skins. You have to follow along the campaign. After that, though, you can kind of ignore it. Like this is the default campaign for this for this gameplay. Very big and beautiful aircraft, though. As you can see, though, they kind of use. Not really. We'll go with special just because it's it's prettier. New squadron aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. That's kind of um, the main reason I do anything is prettiness. Man, I need to wake up. Load times aren't too bad. Surprisingly, this game is only 34 gigabytes. Radar sight still silent. Alright. Trigger your call sign is page 2. Verify and read back. Page 2, roger page that. Two, for takeoff. Can I? The situation is there tight. we go. It's a hell of a homecoming party. We have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Column squadron and your wingmen are airborne. Take off and form up with page 1. Now I can show you what this thing's capable of. Looks yeah, like carry on fire. A lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. It's Pearl Harbor all over again. Mage two, warm up with Mage one. All Not really. Let's no. do this. Gold water. It's go time. God, I love this mode. Cinematic missiles. This is the AWAC Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Welcome. Trigger, I'm your wingman. You fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an okay. element. I don't know what the hell he means by that. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Oh, yeah, bad, easy. Mage two. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. I see him. I see you. Targeting missile. Fuck. Too late. Target confirmed down. Looking good, Mage Two. Don't miss them. Mage Two. Targets in range. This does Prime not bombers. have good maneuverability. Trigger, I'll give stay it back. calm. You got this. I know the kid's shown some problems, but let's remember he's still really out of his feet wet. Long range missiles active. Page two, missile launch. Alright, we're gonna hang back, let our missiles reload. That does Page bring two, you out of some of the down. realism. That's it. It's great when it's simple. We've done enough damage to the harbor to carry our edge enemy fleet. Drop payload on installations and return to base. Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Page two. Not too shabby, Mage 2. You still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base if you can make it in one piece. That's a pretty island. And yeah, they're right behind us. Mage 1 over. Tally 2 bandits. Copy that. It's a bomber and an escort. Oh, their trigger settled down. Mage 2, maintain your element with Mage 1. Do not break off. Mage 1, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Yeah. Okay. Call him 2, let's maintain element. Copy that, Commander. Got your six covered, sir. Radio. Gollum, Mage, two new enemy groups. I'll head to this one. This one thing that you may notice as playing this, as we play this, Verified. is. Drones? Are you kidding me right now? Jesus, this is the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. One thing you're going to notice is. I gotta turn this volume down. UAVs? I can't tell them apart. Got now. Is the fact that, um... Facilities and carrier there's the thing. Mission accomplished. Mage 2's bandit confirmed out. They confirmed right. with their whole payload. 
is that as you fly through the clouds, the audio actually kind of not just cut up, but it gets muffled, which is kind of cool. That's a whole other leather realism instead of just oh, I'm in my cockpit. Look how detailed that is. Oh, I I have a mission. Cinematic missile. Missile incoming. One remaining. Mage two, keep your focus. You got this. Even the dials work though. It's just Column cool and Mage. Part. Job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Good going, Mage two. Flight commander looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? You kind of always start out as the rookie. It's kind of a thing. Column Squad 